that's awesome. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Jason. All right. Um, might want to get the lights. Philip, you. Oh, you got. Well, he's got some right there. That should be. This is um, talking about how we test our water. This is our coal alert comparator, and this is coal alert. So when the guys come in, they bring the lab analysts come in, they bring a sample into the lab. This here is a is a basically a bacteria is a food. So it's going to react if there's any bacteria in this water. It's going to react and it's going to turn a color. If it is positive for tolacoliform, it's going to turn this color. Tolacoliform is a presence. Or absence of bacteria that's in the water doesn't necessarily mean it's going to kill you or anything. If you have a weak immune system, it could make you a little sick, but there's nothing that's that bad. So, if we have tolacoliform, how do we determine if it's fecal or E. coli? The reason how we do that is this, and you can see the difference how this one is fluorescing and this one is not. So, we know that this is good to drink. We know this one is tolacoliform, which is a presence of bacteria in the water. We know this one is fecal because it is fluorescing with the light, the UV light. So that's how we're able to determine whether when we go out and test and we could go out and pull back teas for the citizens of Vod Austin in the water, we're able to know if it's good water or if it's, if it's, if it's not. So any questions on this particular test or anything?